guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be decoupaging some glass jars using this beautiful napkin. So let's get started. So I have my clean jars here and I'm going to use a cotton pad with some rubbing alcohol to remove any excess grease or label glue. If for some reason the label glue is very hard to remove, you can also use nail polish remover. Then I'm going to wipe it with some paper towel just to make sure there's no excess rubbing alcohol on the surface. So the next step is to cover the glass with some acrylic paint. But before I do that, I'm going to tape this section of the glass jars that have a frosted look. I want to keep that, so I'm going to just cover it with some tape on the top here and on the bottom. I'm going to use a piece of paper towel just to hold the top of the jar for right now because I don't want to transfer any oils onto the surface. So I'm going to use my pouncer and just dab the acrylic paint in one direction and very lightly. The goal is to keep the surface as even and consistent as possible because everything that you do to this surface will show through on the napkin itself. Before I give the jars a second coat of paint, I wanted to add something to the lids. Now, since this is a floral themed napkin, I decided to use my DIY silicone mold. Check out my video on how I made this to make a little rose to put on top of the lid. So I have my air dry clay here. I have my mold and a little bit of the clay. Flatten it out a little bit. And then press it into the mold. I'm going to turn it over and squeeze slightly. So there we have a beautiful rose from my DIY mold. Isn't that beautiful guys? So I'm going to place that on top of the lid for my jar and this will be incorporated into the design. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll glue it on. I could also glue it on while it's wet, but I prefer not to touch it too much. I want it to dry a little bit more and then we'll continue. Okay guys, so the bottles are all painted and dry. I had to give it about three coats because I was putting on the paint a little bit too thin. So next time I'll go a little bit thicker, heavier on the paints. In this case I use only acrylic 
but for the next time I think I'll go with a layer of chalk paint which covers a lot better so I'm just tapping it with a little bit of water on my fingertips and then just using my fingernails to pull it off here and I'm just going in a little bit into this area right here just to give it a little bit more definition naturally when the napkin is wet it's a little bit weaker so just be really careful I'm covering the area of the graphic that I want to keep and just ripping gently here now I'm going to just remove the back of the tissue paper and set aside that other piece and this is just the printed piece here just apply some Mod Podge now with my flat brush and then I'm going to take crumpled plastic wrap here and just dab it. Make sure everything is nice and smooth. 